So the Barbie movie dropped and everybody's talking about it. AOC tweeted that she loves how upset Republicans are now that Barbie is too woke and claims that conservatives essentially want Barbie to go back to being some sort of oppressed housewife. I don't mean to take sides here, but I'll go with the Republicans who want to take away Barbie's fictional right to vote over the Democrats who want to give Barbie a wiener. I've been seeing this a lot lately. People on the right that get upset when cartoons and movies go woke and the left will be like, it's a fictional character. Everybody knows it's a fictional character. The problem is, is that these fictional characters are being consumed by real children. This wokeism that's plaguing America that you're putting in content geared towards children, these are ideas and concepts that are difficult for an adult to keep up with and understand. Why are you presenting them to children who are struggling to learn the months of the year? This is the bottom line. Folks with children are concerned that you're going to turn Barbie into Bobby and confuse the f out of their kids just to prove how woke you are. Barbie is for little girls. They have a tough enough road ahead of them now that men can compete in women's sports and be woman of the year. So no, AOC. Conservatives are not mad at Barbie. They're annoyed that you've wokeified another historic piece of American pop culture in an attempt to wokewash children. And that's bull. It's summer blockbuster movie time, which means it's time to and complain about whether or not you love or like or finding political messages in movies that have nothing to do with anything you would ever watch. He'd rather take away Barbie's fictional right to vote the Republicans want, that's not the flex that you think it is, versus Dems who want to put a penis on Barbie and call him Bobby. So on one hand, he complains that it's a fictional character and he'd be willing to take away her right to vote because it doesn't mean anything in real life. But at the same time, it's the same fictional character that you claim they're putting a penis on that would affect real life girls as well. Does it matter that it's fictional when you don't care versus when it's fictional that you do care? On to Ben Shapiro, who's found a way to corner the market on complaining about entertainment, specifically movies and television shows, because he had intros like this. What the f Run. Honestly, when I see things like that, I, I just think it's kind of funny. As a matter of fact, I think Ben Shapiro realized that as well. And this might be one small point I would agree with him on. So I do this review. I put out this tweet and everybody loses their mind. I mean, loses their mind. There are articles about my review of this movie in sources as diverse as Newsweek, NBC News, The Daily Beast. Everyone's covering the fact that I did not like this movie and that I made a video in which I parodically Oppenheimer Bar the Barbie materials. I take like a match and I light the Barbie stuff on fire. Now, as he has pointed out how much he kind of doesn't take this all that seriously, he then gets serious. Again, interlaced through all of this is just more and more and more politics, right? One of the Barbies is a trans Barbie. And this is treated totally normally as though this is a female Barbie with a voice, again, deeper than my own. Ben Shapiro does not care that a trans actress played one of the characters in the Barbie movie. He actually doesn't care. He needs to point that out so the people who do care, who he's told to care about these things, will continue to care and complain about these things that mean nothing to their lives. So is this trans actress who played a Barbie character in the Barbie movie then going to force a bunch of children who aren't trans to suddenly become trans? These are the connections that they never actually make. And again, it's strictly for their own entertainment and money making. Still, he knows so much about this movie, he'll tell you who the intended audiences were. Okay, so conceptually, the movie is a shit show. I wanna ask this, who is the intended audience for this film? Who's the intended audience for this film? So I'll tell you who the intended audience for this film is, and I can tell two ways. One, the previews on the film, and two, the people in the audience. So the intended audience for this film is moms and their eight-year-old daughters. I would suggest that the intended audiences of the movie, first of all, are folks over 13 years old because the movie says it's rated PG-13. But actually, what the real intended audience is, is of this movie is anyone and everyone, including Ben Shapiro, so he can make videos like this, promote it in a way that people wonder, what the hell's the big deal? Or, I hate it so much, I gotta see it myself. Because that's what apparently is happening in places that are unexpected. This is where Barbie and Oppenheimer are trending in the United States. I don't know if this says anything about anything, but check it out. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on down south. They like this Barbie movie a lot, Taylor. A little bit more fun down south, maybe open to the experience. Barbie's like really big in the red states. That's right. Yeah. And Oppenheimer's really big in the blue states. Yeah. That's going on, Taylor. I know. I think you know what's going on, Bill. Do we? That's the problem. Do I um, know what's going on? I'm not so sure. No one actually would care, but in fact, we've got this hyper-partisan political world that we talk about everything in these terms is exactly why we keep doing it, because it makes them the money.